Hey everybody, welcome to my video on indifference curves. This is a follow-up from my video that was entitled, Where Do Indifference Curves Come From? Uh, in that video, I used graphing software to show a three-dimensional depiction of a utility function and showed how indifference curves are slices of the mountain representing the same altitude. Consumers' goals are to maximize utility within their budget constraints, so the goal is to get as far up the mountain as possible. So this video, I'm not using any fancy software, unfortunately, but I do have a bunch of scenarios. I got six of them here, uh, where the first one's the classic where X and Y are both good. And then I have one where X is good and Y is bad, meaning that Y decreases utility. Then I have one where X is bad and Y is good, one where they're both bad, one where X is good and Y doesn't mean anything, and one where X doesn't mean anything and Y is good. Now, each of these will have a different graph. I'm going to motivate what these graphs look like by first stating where the mountain is. Uh, so if we start going and it doesn't make any sense, I would recommend watching the Where Indifference Curves Come From video. Uh, yep. So, let's draw the first one. X is good and Y is good. Good X, good Y. My utility is highest when I have lots of X and lots of Y. So my mountain is somewhere over here. That eh, doesn't look very good. Uh, M for mountain. So if the mountain's up there, then what I should see is something with indifference curves like this. Where it's tracing its way up the mountain and moving that way makes you happier. All right, there's your classic for two goods. Now, what is it going to look like if X is good and Y is bad? Well, my mountain will have no Y in it. The farther up the mountain I go is moving away from Y. But I do want X, so my mountain goes this way. More X and less Y means I'm happy, so let me draw some indifference curves around that mountain. Where we increase by moving that way. More X and less Y means you're happier. Let's draw the next situation where X is bad and Y is good. All right, we want lots of Y and we don't want X. Our mountain is over here. So same idea, we'll trace some indifference curves around the mountain. Utility is increasing as we move that way. Okay, next situation. We're going to have X as a bad and Y as a bad. And so that means our mountain has no X or Y in it. The less of it we have, the better we are. So our utility is increasing as we go towards that mountain. Next situation. Now these next two are kind of weird because both of them have a good that's neither good nor bad. It's just indifferent. Which one was first? Uh, y is indifferent in this first one. So Y is not good or bad. So it's got a little utility there. X is good. And in this second one, Y is good. And X is indifferent. Now what's this gonna look like? My utility function will be increasing if x is good. Uh, so if x is good, my mountain is over here somewhere. But it doesn't really matter. Oops. It doesn't really matter how much y I have. So my mountain doesn't have a peak. It's more like just this line. This ridge line that just goes up and up. So 
y indifference curves are going to look something like this. Oops. Where the farther right I move on x, the higher my utility get. But I don't particularly care if I'm here or here. Y is indifferent. Or I guess I should say I'm indifferent with respect to y. Uh, likewise, if x is the indifferent one and y is good, my mountain isn't in any one direction. It's all along this whole axis up here. Where, just like over here, moving to the right at any point helps. In this case, moving up at any point helps. We are indifferent as to how much x, but more y is a good thing. So, in all of these cases, I took the same approach. When I had a good or a bad, I use that to tell me which direction the mountain is, and then I draw the lines around my mountain. So, when they're both good, the mountain's northeast. When y is bad and x is good, the mountain's on the southeast. When the y is good and the x is bad, the mountain's on the northwest. And they're both bad, southwest. No matter how I draw it, though, I'm always drawing my indifference curves around it. It just got a little funky when we were indifferent and my mountain became a whole line. That's okay. We're not often indifferent to goods. So I hope this video is at least somewhat helpful to you. Uh, if not, you know, too bad. Good luck, you guys. Happy e-comming. Thanks for watching.